Right everyone, we're Fletcher here. Right, I thought I'd do a video on the uh, the new crossbows having a slight problem with the safety not disengaging. Some people have said it happened on this one and these Armex ones as well. And it's not actually the crossbow, so don't worry about that. And I'll show you how to get around it. So yeah. It's not actually the crossbows, it's the bolts. Unless you're having the problem with the bolts that come with these crossbows, as far as I'm aware, it's using other bolts that don't come with these. So, the Horizons and the Armex, well, I think the Armex do anyway, they, they come with bigger bolts than what you buy standard. They're ever so slightly thicker than the cheap plastic ones, and the part from the knock to the flight or the veins, whatever you want to call it, I'll just call it flights here, is longer. I'll show you this close up in a minute. See that there, that's about 4mm, that's about 20mm. So what happens is, I'll show you this properly in a second, when the bolt is placed in, it's not disengaging the anti-dry fire which then means you can't push the safety here forward I'll show you that now yeah so basically what happens is once you cock this there's an anti-dry fire there you can see it just sticking down there and what it does that stops the safety going forward until a bolt is in there but if you put a bolt that doesn't go right back or isn't thick enough in it won't disengage it. When this bolt goes back, see it make the anti-dry fire go up and then the safety will disengage then. And I think the problem is these bolts don't go in far enough and they're also slightly thinner. So the easiest thing to do, and I find works consistently, is for these bolts and these ones, you want to chop away some of the flights. So it's easy to do. Now th this one's already been done, but the tips of these are normally like that. So again, not quite long enough. So the easiest way to do this is take a knife, and you want to cut into the flights, this is the safest way, so cut in like that, maybe a little bit more, and then cut downwards to that, so it just pops off, so then go the other side, cut in, cut down, and then that is enough to consistently go back in, although those are still thinner, that seems to make a difference to me. That makes it enough to go back. So, these ones, you'll still need to do it, but I think these are nearly as thick as that. And so are these bolts. These definitely will work, but I find you, these are really best for sort of plinking and messing around anyway. If you want some serious bolts that do hard hitting uh, penetration, these two. These are probably one of the best you can get, but the problem is, as soon as you hit anything hard with these, this tip comes out and won't go back in properly. Whereas this one has screw-in tips. The only thing that really breaks on these is the flights. But I find these will last a lot longer than these if hitting hard materials. If you're hitting something soft with these, these will last pretty much forever. But if you hit anything hard, these ones actually last longer than those. So yeah, once you've done that, see the other thing is with these, you don't need to mod them, because if you look at the gap there, that's already about enough, I think. You need at least that, that seems to be enough. Or it may be because these are softer flights. But these seem to go in a bit more consistently. Yeah, I think that's the way to go. These are still worth getting because of the price. They're so cheap you can get. 
I think you can get something like 60 for a tenner. So they're worth getting doing this little simple mod on and then they will shoot consistently. These are a lot more expensive, ever so slightly thicker, but but not worth the money I don't think. You want to go for these two really. And in my opinion, these last longer on harder materials. But these are probably one of the best you can get. It's just I don't like these tips. What I may do eventually is work out a way to take these tips off, easily thread it, and then start putting these threaded tips in. And then that'll probably be one of the best bolts you can get. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you find this helpful and it explains why the uh, trigger is doing that sometimes. Right, before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.